How's it going, guys? It's going to be a brand new video starting off 2016 the right way. Now, this is going to be a quick lineup of my favorite winter fragrance for the upcoming season. And I just can't wait to give you this quality I'm going to show you. Now, these, these bottles are going to be expensive. I'm not going to lie. If you're looking for more cost-effective options, there's going to be a link in the description. Uh, that's just going to be my top 20 or so school and work fragrances. So if you're looking for something cheaper, that's going to be for you. As for this list, these are probably the best smelling fragrances in the world. And to start things off from the House of Fat Pan, it's going to be the, probably the best smelling fragrance in the world. <laughs> 1270. Now 1270, you get booziness, you get a little bit of rum in there, you get vanilla, you get the, the note of raisin, even a little bit of touch of ice cream. This Fragrance is so beautiful that I had to put on this list. Now, it doesn't have that much power and projection, but damn, does the scent smell good. That's going to be coming at number 10, 1270. Now, from the house of Jerzhov, this is going to be Mio. Now, I actually finished this bottle off last spring, but I just ordered a new batch very, it's really, very expensive. It's about $260 just for this little bottle, I know. But the packaging is just so beautiful. The fragrance, the fragrance itself is just magnificent. You get a really bright, bright, bright citrus. Probably the best in its class. Now, I haven't really used this for the winter, but I've heard great stories about it. So, coming at number nine, Mio by the House of Jerzhov. Coming in at number eight from the House of... Creed, Aventus. Don't really need to say much about this fragrance. You guys know what it is. Pineapple, you get birch, you get smoke. A uh, real pain dropper, clubbing type of fragrance. You already know what it is. I don't really have to talk much about it. That's going to be coming at number eight. Aventus. Coming in at number seven. And this is a brand new fragrance in my collection. Oh, but this smells good, guys. Parfums de Marley's Herod. Now, Herod is a beautiful tobacco, vanilla, cherry scent. And it reminds me of a Cuban drug lord smoking a cherry-flavored uh, cigar drenched in honey. And it's just a great, smooth fragrance. Now, there are fragrances in my collection that remind me of this, but they don't do it just as good. And I'm thinking about uh, Pure Havan by Tegla Mugler, and I'm thinking about Spice Bomb by uh, Victor and Rolf, but this is just a, uh, this is on a whole nerd level. This is what those fragrances wish they were. That's going to be coming in at number seven, Herod. Coming in at number six is one of the best smelling fragrances in the world, and I'm talking about Jubilation 25. Now, Jubilation 25 was made to celebrate Amawash's 25th anniversary, and they did this to perfection. You get incense, you get berry notes in there. It's just a great upscale fragrance. Now, it's not very versatile. I only wear it when I wanna, uh, when I'm wearing black tie, maybe a tuxedo, but it's just one of the best smelling fragrances ever. This is what a king would smell like. And that's ironic because Amouage's slogan is, get from kings, get of kings, damn. So coming in at number six, that's gonna be Jubilation 25. Coming in at number five, from the house of Olfactive Studios, Chambre Noir. Now, Chambre Noir, I already talked about this, is a very leathery, boozy, uh, papery type of smell. It's really unique. I use it as a, a date fragrance. It works really well in that scenario. I've already praised this up last winter. This is my number one last winter, but this winter I just found some better options. So that doesn't take away from this fragrance. Still coming at number five, Chambre Noir. And I've used a lot of that bottle, if you can tell already. Look at that, it's crazy. Coming in at number four, is another great date fragrance by the House of By Killian. Back to Black. Now, Back to Black is the most authentic honey I've ever put my nose on, period. You got a little bit of raspberry in there. This is the fragrance that you wanna wear when you have the prettiest girl in the world sitting right next to you, sharing a drink, sharing a romantic dinner. This is the Casanova 
seductive fragrance that's gonna put you over the edge. That's gonna be Back in Black by the House of By Killing It. Now, coming in at number three is a triple tie because I don't know which of these are gonna be better for the occasion, but that's gonna be Amber Absolute, Tuscan Leather, and Tobacco Benin. Now, these are probably Tom Ford's most well-known fragrances. You get that beautiful resin and amber note and amber absolute. You get that authentic leather and raspberry and Tuscan leather, and you just get spices and vanilla and tobacco benin. Beautiful, beautiful fragrances, beast projection, beast longevity. You really can't do better than these. And while they're not my favorite Tom Ford, they're, they're just so massively done, I have to put them out there. Now, with the quality of these fragrances, there's still one more from Tom Ford that really gets my eye and my love. And unfortunately, I put these to the side for the number two. And that is Noir de Noir. Noir de Noir is the best rose fragrance on the market, period. You just can't do better. This fragrance is just so massively blended. It's just, oh, it's just fucking gorgeous. You get a little bit of patchouli and you get the most authentic rose. Now, these notes don't usually go well together, but in this blend, the way they, they, come, they just fight against each other, what results is just a beautiful death. You get one of the most authentic roses, seductive, mysterious, even sinister to a certain degree. This is what Dracula or a vampire princess locked away in the tower would wear. This is one of my favorite date fragrances of all time, and I'm going to be wearing this a lot during this upcoming winter. That's going to be Noir de Noir coming in at number two. Now, number one. This is a new fragrance in my collection. I can't believe that is number one, but coming in from the house of Christian Dior, my favorite favorite house of all time. Fev Delicios. Now, I got a decant of this fragrance. I'm gonna smell right now. Got a little decant. I bought, I bought this before I actually bought the, the bottle. Oh, this, God, guys, this smells so fucking good. And the perfumer that actually made this, I also made my favorite fragrance of all time. Dior Omen 10. So this is going to be the vintage version, of course. Fab Delicios is a mixture of beautiful tonka bean. You have a little bit of vanilla in there, benzoin. Now, when I first put my nose, I'm going to be real with you guys. There's a lot of hype concerning this, fra uh, this fragrance right now. Everyone's talking about it. And I didn't really believe it. I was like, oh, let's see what's, let's see what's it about. So I bought this decant. And the first time I sprayed it, I was just like, God Fucking damn, this smells good. This is probably the best winter fragrance of all time, in my opinion. Now, that's saying a lot because there's a lot of beautiful fragrances on this list. But this does it even better. <sighs> what can I say about this, man? Beast longevity, beast projection. Women love it. I remember I had a little Asian girl over here, and she smelled it. She, was just, she just fell on the floor. This is coming at number one. Actually, Dior Roman Tins, and I put these both at number one because they're by the same perfumer. Love these two. Uh, this is going to be your list, guys. Uh, I just can't do any better than this. And probably these are going to be probably going to be the best fragrances in the world, bar to none. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is going to be one take, so if I stumble over anything, then I'm uh, sorry about it. But your top 10 winter fragrances to start off 2016 the right way.